Hey guys, Perry here, and I have your review of Catherine Bigelow's latest, Detroit. It's based on true events, and it's set in 1967 and opens at the start of the riots. Bigelow uses her opening sequences so exceptionally well, offering up a really comprehensive and all-consuming look at the state of the city, while also funneling you straight towards the main conflict of the movie, and that took place at the Algiers Motel. So when one guest fires off a starting gun, which is a gun used to start a race, local Local law enforcement investigates and they're looking for a sniper. That group of cops includes one extremely racist and sadistic officer and he's played by Will Poulter who essentially ignores the law and traps the suspects in a total nightmare while he tries to manipulate, threaten and beat them into telling him where the weapon is. It's hard enough just recalling and breezing through the basics of the plot with this one. Detroit is an extremely tough watch, but rightfully so. The large majority of the movie does cover what happens at the Algiers, and that essentially amounts to Poulter's character and his fellow officers torturing the motel guests. It is extremely disturbing and unpleasant, but I can't imagine any other combination of screen time, visual style, and performances that could put you in the moment as fully. So this is a story that's set in 1967, but you really only need to be mildly informed on current events to know that a lot of the same problems still exist today. It's one thing to sit in front of a TV, hear a terrible news report, and empathize. But what Bigelow does here is she traps you inside that house right there with the victims and I was sitting there and just found myself racing through a frantic stream of questions and answers trying to think of a logical way for these characters to safely get out of the situation and as the story progresses it just became so clear that what one may think are very sensible solutions aren't an option for them at all and it really starts to sink in how helpless they are and it's heartbreaking and that's a feeling I know I'm going to carry with me well beyond the movie. I feel it right now. Bigelow's shooting style here makes Detroit so immersive and the way the narrative is structured highlights the immediate horror but also how one night can change everything for someone giving the movie a lasting effect that will haunt you well after it's over and then there are some unforgettable performances that I've got a feeling folks might be talking about through award season. Really, everyone in this movie is at the top of their game, but the standouts definitely include Poulter and his number two, Ben O'Toole, who plays a cop named Flynn. The physical atrocities they commit are terrible, but equally as haunting here is how deeply they believe in how they carry themselves and how easily they can brush off the severity of their actions. And then, of course, we also have John Boyega in the movie. He steps in as an outside security guard who gets involved in what's going on inside the Algiers. He winds up being in a really interesting middle ground between the cops and all the victims here. And it is fascinating watching him navigate that situation in a way where he doesn't overstep his boundaries and run the risk of having himself taken out of the situation and being able to help. You're also going to want to keep an eye on Jacob Lattimore, who steps in as a young man who winds up trapped in the Algiers named Fred. I thought he was fantastic in Slight. And here, even with a lot of excellent performances all around him, he is just so striking and captivating. And then there's also Algie Smith, who plays Larry, Fred's good friend and an aspiring singer. Really, again, every single member of this ensemble makes an impression, but Larry's arc might be the most powerful of all, and Smith does an incredible job navigating that change. It really is an unforgettable performance. It's gonna be a while before I stop talking about Detroit, and that's if I ever do. Again, not a pleasant watch, but it really is a necessary one, and Bigelow, writer Mark Bull, the rest of the cast really do justify leaving you with that pit in your stomach and just feeling completely overwhelmed. I'm giving Detroit a 9.5 out of 10, Go see this when you can. It hits limited theaters July 28th and then expands on August 4th. I have high hopes this one is going to get the recognition it deserves come award season. So thank you so much for watching this review. Did you see Detroit? Tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. We've got more content coming your way real soon, so keep an eye on Collider Video.